Now to tonight's other top story. It's going to lead to ultimately higher prices at the pump, unfortunately. And some groups say a shortage of semi-truck drivers is to blame. Changes in the trucking industry can have a domino effect, and they all lead to you and your wallet. WCI3's Cole Hankey is live in Springfield for us tonight. Cole, some companies at this point scrambling to deliver products. Over 70% of the freight in the country is still moved in big rigs just like this one, and that includes gasoline. Companies need to hire more truck drivers soon, or else that could mean higher gas prices for you at the pump. Kurt Robinson runs the truck driving training program at Lincoln Land Community College in Springfield, and right now, business is booming. Every student that's went through our program has been offered a job uh, before they ever leave. The increase in enrollment over the last year is coinciding with a decrease in truckers on the road. The Illinois Trucking Association says that many older truckers retired during the pandemic, and now over 90% of trucking companies are looking for more drivers, and Robinson's classes aren't enough to fill the gaps. Uh, we have a lot of drivers who came into this industry in the 90s who are all retiring now, um, and uh, we don't have a whole lot of younger folks that are wanting to get into this industry to drive a truck um, and be gone uh, uh, driving uh, goods across the country. And the Illinois Fuel and Retail Association says that that shortage is causing a different shortage at gas stations. From the terminal to the pump, that last step, that's all truck. And uh, that is a huge factor, obviously, that goes into getting the product to the consumer. The shortage of drivers won't result in any gas stations around central Illinois running out of gas entirely. That's more of a problem for vacation hotspots throughout the summer but it has already led to higher gas prices. You've had more people get vaccinated, more people want to go somewhere this summer. Hotel bookings, I think, are up something like 60% over where they were last year. Uh, it's going to ultimately lead, I think, to higher prices at the pump. And while schools like Robinson's are churning out new drivers every couple of months, it's still not enough. The, the demand is just so high, and most of them will have multiple job offers. Now, truckers are moving more and more weight with each passing week as the country continues to reopen. And the only fix that everybody seems to agree on is hiring more truckers. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA 3. <laughs> Your local news leader. I know you've been waiting to do that all day, Cole. All right, thank you. The Illinois Trucking Association polls companies across the state every week. They say about 70% of companies are seeing an increase in the number of loads for their truckers week after week, and even more expect that number to continue to go up.